Hello, this is the Provoked Prawn, and this is a short video to show you how to solve a problem if you've noticed the orange light flashing on your Blue Yeti Nano, and yet it still works properly. I recently installed the Blue Yeti Nano on a new gaming PC and found that it was flashing orange, and yet I could click the button to switch it to muted and unmuted and see the red ring and the green ring appear, depending on which mode it was in and it would still work and record audio but was constantly flashing this nagging orange light. Now it turns out there is a solution to this which is really simple. Basically this little light is letting you know there's an inconsistency with the frequency that the microphone is using and the various software within Windows. I'm not sure what software is causing it because I'm using Discord and Skype and Slack and all sorts. But the easy solution is to download the Yeti Sherpa software. In there you'll be able to see the frequency that it's set to. Now if you dive into Windows, you can then go into your sound settings. You can open the Windows control panel straight from Sherpa as well, which makes life easy. Then you just need to click on Advanced, select the drop down, and pick 48 kilohertz. Once you've done that, you then apply those settings and it will force close Sherpa and you can open it back up to check it again but you should immediately notice that your ring is now green. If it isn't, maybe it's got the settings the other way it will depend on the software you're running but if you play around with the properties of this you should find that it fixes it nicely. As a side note, if you've not downloaded the Sherpa software it's well worth doing because this software also helps you to update the firmware and make tweaks within the software to the mic gain and playback volume and the cardoid mode. You can see here mine's up to date. This has been the Provoke Pro and I hope this is useful. Please like, subscribe and come back for more.